So today, trying the expedited uh, braking process, I soaked the saddle for 15 minutes in some lukewarm water. Uh, at the end of the 15 minutes, it was nice and soft. I tried to soak it previously at a seven minute before the, uh, before the ride I did yesterday, but it just didn't saturate enough. It stayed hard. So 15 minutes a day, it's noticeably, noticeably uh, more um, compliant, I guess. It's still hard, but it's compliant. So I'm gonna do uh, at least 20 miles a day. I should mention the seat is still slick as snot that's that's the biggest pain in the ass so far is how slick it is I can deal with the hardness because that's really not that bad especially if you get it adjusted right but man it's slick it's like an armor audit or something <laughs> So as you can see how soft it is and wetting it has caused this brindle look but that goes away as it dries and once it's completely dry I'll uh, proof hide the crap out of it and then just maintain it as normal so uh, yeah so far so good it does feel better than yesterday it's not super soft but I really didn't expect it to be because it's a brand new saddle. But uh, so far so good, I like it. Yep. <laughs> Cheetos on the corner of Market and <laughs> already getting butt bone indentions starting to harden back up from the uh, the water drying out I actually wish it would kind of stay this marbled I like that forty five miles first twenty five hard seat Last 20 soaked seat. And you can see I definitely got sit bone dimples. And it's already a, a crap ton more comfortable. It's still hard, but nothing not manageable. And this still the biggest problem is it's slick. It's real slick. 